What is on the other side of the scary door? Oh. Greetings guys, this is guys, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you the Dimensional Doors mod. Now what this mod does is bring you like this weird doors that make you go into this new dimension that's just emptiness. It like takes you to the rift of time, and all it is is nothingness. And uh, I'll show you what I mean in just a second, but let's go for the crafting recipes, and I have my own little setup over there. Just to kind of go through this, and this is really a technical, science-y mod, and uh, I do apologize if I get any information wrong, I'm just kind of reading it off the uh, Minecraft forums, and uh, I'm kind of confused on how this mod works, but uh, I'm trying to do it as best as I can just to help inform you guys on this mod, and if you want to go download it, check it out yourself, it'll be linked in the description. So the first one we want to know is how to actually make the doors. So uh, to make the warp door, you need uh, two wooden doors and an ender pearl, and uh, that will create a warp door, and that create the actual dimensional door itself. You need the two iron doors and an ender pearl in the middle, that will create a dimensional door. And uh, with this trans-dimensional trapdoor, I'm not entirely sure how this works, but you need an ender pearl and then two trapdoors, and then I'll show you what I mean, because I have it set up over here. I mean, like, had this here, and then I put it in, like, you just go down, it didn't teleport you, and um, I put it in the other dimension too, and it didn't work, I was just kind of like, what do I do with this? So if I figure it out, it'll be linked in the description. And uh, this is a riff remover, this is a riff signature, and this is an unstable fabric. Now what this does is a rift signature, it creates like rifts around your place and uh, the rift remover actually removes that rift. So if you see like one, like they generate, they generally spawn around the place as well once you've got some doors and uh, once you uh, once you have access to the other dimension, uh, other rifts start teleporting. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I saw you, son. And um... Yeah, so once you see like some black particles, like smoky particles effects like around, uh, you can either use your riff remover to remove it, or you can just let it be. Uh, apparently if you use a door on it, um, it will take you to this new dimension where it has like a chest in it. But I couldn't figure it out because I tried it, but it didn't work. So if we come across one in this video, I'll try again and show you what I mean. And uh, for this unstable fabric, I'm not entirely sure what it does as well. I think it takes you to... Uh, I think you use it on a smoke particle as well, but again, like when I tried it, it didn't work. So um, yeah, we're still still ex experimenting and exploring. And uh, now let's go into the actual dimensions. So this oh, there's one. Oh yeah. So uh, this is this is what I talk about. So like, have the door close and then like you go through it, and then it just, it just it doesn't let you. Just so you're supposed to like go through the smoke and unstable fabric doesn't do anything. But if we use the rift remover on it like just around it, you'll see the particle will slowly disappear. Goodbye particles! Goodbye! So yeah, and if we use a rift signature, I don't even know. I don't even know. But it doesn't seem to be working, so I don't even know what to do with that. Right, so the dimensional door, if you uh, let us in please, and then you walk through, it will teleport you to... Whoa. Whoa. So much swag. What is... What is this? Can I put a door here? Oh, 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 oh! 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 Experiments and is dangerous and spooky. So, um, as you see, this everything that happens in the real world, it will change like the effects it is in the dimension world and creates this swag particle. Oh, it looks like a swag fireworks. Good show. Good show. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna see if I can use Rift Signature on this. Okay, so now, once you're in the dimension, it leads to dimension 4. So, you're in a dimension... What is going... What is... This is changing! Stop changing! Spooky! Don't like change! And uh, yeah, so when you're in the dimension, and if you use a Rift Signature, that will create an absorb version of that dimension, and put it into the Rift Signature, and then if you take it to the real world, and... Um, just kind of place it around and then put a warp door on it. It will teleport you to this dimension. It should, in theory. We'll test it out. And uh, let's see if we can remove this swag. So, Rift Remover should remove. That. As you can see, it's removed part of it. So, let's see if we can do doing it. Be gone, swag! Be gone! So, yeah. So, as you can see, so the Rift Remover works. Oh. Rift Remover, go away! Get out of here, swag! 
Nobody likes your swag except me. Okay, so let's head back. Oh, it's back again. What if I use unstable fabric? Stop it. Okay, well, let's go back. And yeah, this is kind of where we left off. There's a random door, as you can see. What if we walk through it? It. So, uh, as you. Oh god. Oh my god. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> it's so cool. So yeah, um, as you can see, because there's a door there, it teleports you to this dimension. Pretty sick. Uh, so yeah, so that door stays there, and that'll teleport you back to this dimension. And in theory of what we said, if we say put this over here, it'll place a particle, as it does. And if we place a door kind of next to it, it should not work. <laughs> Damn it. Um... Maybe it has to be like one closer. Ah, oh, there we go. And as you can see, it teleported you to wherever you grabbed the Rift signature. So, in theory, it does work, but it's still a bit confusing. And uh, there was still that one thing I said about the whole chest thing. Like, you're supposed to use this, and you go through it, and there's a chest somewhere. Unless it's actually in here somewhere, but I will not be able to find it at all. Also, you can place items down here, so that's kind of cool. That you can build, like, yourself a path so it's kind of cool so if you want to go exploring say in this like place you can make yourself a path so you know where you're going just in case you lose that door so say if we keep going oh oh god it's all blocked off I wonder how big this place is oh god oh god I'm in a box get me out of get get, get me out it's too it's too big it's too small it's it's enclosed so yeah, this is uh pretty much about it, I guess. I'm wondering if there is a chest. I'm just trying to trying to find something. Uh, I don't know what the point of this place is though, but it's very cool and well made. Oh, I want to go home. Um, so yeah, that should be that should be it. So if you want to go check out the mod yourself. It'll be linked in the description. There is no mod comment today because I've started recording this before the actual mod video went up public. So if you want to leave a comment, uh, feel free to, but it won't be picked for the next mod showcase. And the next mod showcase will be for Doggy Talents mod that I did previously. So if you want to go check that out, that'll be on my channel somewhere, which you should check out and subscribe, by the way, because I do some kick-ass daily Minecraft videos. So and I would love you guys to come join us on the adventures of Gizzy Gaza. And yeah, uh, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm Gizgazza, make sure you check out the mod, and I'll see you all in the, all in the next video. And until then, peace out. Bye!